Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of On Campus. I'm Sheena from sportsreportgirl.com here with my weekly review of the top stories from the college gridiron. So last week Boston College beat Florida State handing the Seminoles their third loss of the season. As such the natives in North Florida are now calling for Coach Bowden's head. Orlando Sentinel columnist Mike Bianchi wrote, the love and admiration we all have for Bobby does not put fans in the seats, money in the coffers, or national championships in the trophy case. Bobby used to be able to do all those things, but clearly he cannot anymore. On Sunday, Jim Smith, the chair of the university's board of trustees, echoed those sentiments when he told the Tallahassee Democrat, it's time for a change. Bowden turns 80 in just over a month and has a contract that gives him the option to return in 2010. Anything longer than that, and the school would have to pay coach-in-waiting Jimbo Fisher a $5 million bonus. Bobby has been clear that he doesn't want to go yet, making the entire situation reminiscent of Joe Paz a few years back. How did Joe Paz solve his problems? He started winning. That is easy to say, but much tougher to do, especially with number 22 Georgia Tech coming to Tallahassee this Saturday night. Moving on, last Friday, Oregon coach Chip Kelly announced the university had outlined a plan that would allow disgraced running back LeGarrette Blunt an opportunity to play again before the end of the season. The coach made it clear this was no done deal and that LeGarrett would have to work hard to meet certain benchmarks in order to regain his eligibility. For more on this subject, check out the recent post by my college football contributor at thesportsreportgirl.com. As for Boise State, they started their predestined slide back down the poles. They were number five last week, but are now number six after winning unimpressively against UC Davis. So all you Boise State fans out there need to take this to heart. Demand that the powers in Boise start scheduling bravely. Just look at Fresno State, which has been doing it for years. If you guys were undefeated with their schedule, you would still be in the top five with the chance to continue moving up. As it is now, Boise State has nowhere to go but down and no one to blame but themselves. As for this week's big games, here are the ones I will be keeping my eyes on. Alabama at Old Miss. It's Bama's first real test since their opener against Vautech, while Old Miss has a shot at redemption after being exposed. Speaking of Vautech, they host Boston College this week. It is an opportunity for both teams to make a statement. If BC wants to be taken as a serious ACC contender, they will need to pull off the upset. And if Vautech is to be taken as a serious BCS title contender, they have to dominate the Eagles. Also, Wisconsin travels to Ohio State. How is it the Badgers are undefeated and unranked this far into the season? Iowa hosts Michigan. How will the Wolverines respond after their crushing overtime loss to State? And don't look now, but the following week, the Hawkeyes travel to Madison to take on Wisconsin. If both are undefeated, that game could determine the Big Ten champion. And finally, the marquee game of the week is number one Florida at number four LSU. The question on everyone's mind is, will Tebow play or won't he? To which I must say, are you kidding me? Of course he is going to play. He's Tim Tebow. And considering LSU suddenly found their offense, this one looks like it's going to be great. Okay, guys, that is it for this week. But be sure to check out my daily rants at thesportsreportgirl.com and truefan.com. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter. See you next week. Bye.